Children scavenge on the streets of Yangon, trying to earn a little money. In Myanmar, more than 30% of people live below the poverty line. For families in need of financial support, children are often left alone as they can't afford school fees. Children's organization UNICEF has now warned that as Myanmar opens up to the world, those vulnerable youngsters are at risk from trafficking. If government opens up, as it said, democratically, um, then obviously um, it will open up everything. That would mean the existing tight control on, on, on the situation might be loosened up. So that would mean people would be more open to do what they want to do. So it, this could mean legal, illegal, all sorts of things can happen. So there are, there are uh, many risks. The Ratana Meta drop-in center helps children learn about being wary of strangers. UNICEF says that a proper education is needed to teach children how to deal with a changing country. Uh, that children are given proper uh, education, so they don't go to schools, so, so they don't go to, go to the, the, the street for begging and, and other things. And then uh, younger people, like after the age of 14, 15, uh, they need to be uh, made somehow economically independent. The U.S. government estimates that thousands of children in Myanmar and neighboring countries have been forced into work.